to Georgia, the state that determined control of Congress two years ago. This time, they could do it again tonight. That race for the Senate in a dead heat as well. Senator Raphael Warnock campaigning for re-election there. The Republican Herschel Walker, of course, battling to unseat him. And another heated Georgia race we're watching, the rematch between Governor Brian Kemp and his challenger, Stacey Abrams. Steve Osinsami in Atlanta tonight. There were no lines at this polling place this morning outside the governor's hometown of Athens, Georgia. How are you doing? Where Republican Brian Kemp and his family went to vote for his reelection. And officials say it's looking this way across the state, that it's only taking minutes to vote, but that turnout is still very strong. Like millions of Georgians, Democrat Stacey Abrams voted early. If she wins tonight, she'd become the first black woman in America ever elected governor. In the U.S. Senate race, both Republican Herschel Walker and Congressman Raphael Warnock also voted early. They joined more than 2.5 million Georgians who voted before Election Day, a record for a midterm election here. What's your feeling on this election? Uh, I think it's going to be a very, very close one. Crime is my number one issue. I would say the economy is a bit more important. I'm concerned about um, families, the seniors, um, cost of living, things like that. I, mean, I think the biggest thing is just the economy. I know a lot of people in the last year or so have dealt with a ton of inflation and rising costs. Wages aren't really keeping up. Georgia voters told us today they were all over the place on the issues, and many were voting for both Democrats and Republicans. So let's bring in Steve Osinsami live in Atlanta again tonight. And Steve, for folks at home, this Senate race between Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock, one of them has to hit 50 percent uh, just to make sure that this then doesn't go off to a runoff. But this runoff could be possible given how close this race is going into today. That's right. 50 percent plus one. And, you know, both campaigns are preparing for this. And, you know, it's it's one of those things that both campaigns are watching tonight. And it's different from 2020. In 2020, when there was a runoff election during the presidential election, that runoff didn't happen until January, in fact, the night before the attack on the U.S. Capitol. But this time, the law has changed. If there's a runoff in either of these races tonight, that runoff will happen four weeks from tonight on December 6th. David? But here's the really interesting thing, Steve. We know Georgia closes fairly early tonight, so we'll have early results from Georgia, at least the first a wave of data coming in quite early. So we'll be coming to you very soon on our election coverage. Steve, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.